Hey there metas, hope you're having fun in the beta. So I've been getting a bunch of questions about how I grind my acid during my live stream, so I thought I'd make a quick video spilling all my secrets. Now I'll be messing around in this April beta with all the cool cats in the community, and let me tell you, it's been a blast. But we're getting closer and closer to those end game levels, and it looks like we've hit a little bit of a wall. Acid, man. It's like trying to find a needle in the hate stack to get enough for all of our stuff. It's a real struggle. You need acid for pretty much everything in this game. It's like the duct tape of the once human crafting world. <laughs> Gotta have it for everything from smelting to fuel to activators, the whole lot. Now there's a couple of ways we figured out how to get this acid. The simplest way is just by grinding mobs at any level, but I'm pretty sure everybody already knows about that. Another way would be to use your Warband shop, since the guild shop sells acid, but the currency is Stardust, and that just feels like a waste of materials to be honest, since you can make Stardust with acid, and the conversion is just crazy. I got a setup going on that farms acid for our whole group. This is like a passive grind, so it's perfect for when you're out and about and then you return home to craft something. This setup brings in acid while you sleep or while you're out doing silos or missions or whatever. It does go slow, but in time it builds up a nice stockpile. And if you do it ahead of time, you won't run out of acid when you hit the higher levels. But first, before I reveal this amazing setup I have at my base, let's talk about these three facilities you gotta learn how to build. First one is the water pump. You have to place this one in a stardust polluted zone, so base location is very important with this one. You know, when your backpack starts beeping and you get that number on the back, that's the right spot to place these. It might be a bit weird as most of these areas are strongholds, so you'll need to be right at the outskirts of these places to be able to build, but you'll get it figured out. Next up, we're getting a water filter in the mix. I started with the regular water filter, but then upgraded to the osmosis water filter, which works as much as four of the small ones. This one collects the polluted water from the pumps and turns it into impure acid. The fermenting barrel. You'll use these to process the impure acid into regular acid by adding some boiled or filtered water. I'd definitely stock up on a bunch of these bad boys since the fermentation process ain't exactly quick. And these barrels can only handle one batch at a time. So hey, the more barrels you've got, the more acid you'll be cranking out per minute. Alright, check it out. I'm gonna give you a little tour of the base I whipped up. I built a standalone building just for the acid production. I've got seven pumps sucking up polluted water and sending it into the water storage in the attic. The water storage is connected to the osmosis water filter and this guy works on four of them at once. So the pumps just about keep up with the filtration unit. Next step is a bit of a bummer, gotta do it manually since the impure acid won't flow out of the filter when it's connected to the barrels. Not sure if that's on purpose or if it's just a quirk of the game, but the impure acid has to be moved into the barrels by hand. It's not the end of the world since you can add them pretty quickly and forget about them. <laughs> This here, this whole setup makes 21 acid an hour. Doesn't sound like much, you're right. But if you throw in some more barrels, you can crank up the production. Each barrel spits out one acid every 20 minutes. The filters and the pumps work great, because I always end up with more impure acid than I need. But man, let me tell you, if you get busy and forget about it, you'll be in for a surprise when you get back home and you've got all this acid to craft stuff with. Hope this helps, since acid and ore seem to be like the final boss level of once human. <laughs> Having a nice acid lab is totally worth it if you ask me. Hey, if you have any other tips on how to farm acid, feel free to shoot them my way. I'll be waiting in the comments. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.